Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Core Monsters. My name is Nick. Today we're going to be at Stafford Motor Speedway in Stafford Springs, Connecticut. As normal, we're going to start with racing. We have an eight truck field today with a bunch of trucks you've already seen. Up first, we're going to see Alice Montgomery coming out in utter madness. This is Joe's wife, who is also going to be here today. Go up and over the cars. A little straight line racing. Pretty solid run there with a 6.343 to start out the day. Next up, we're going to see James Whitaker in Eagle Eye. Lining up, and we're going to take off. Or he's going to take off very slow over the first set of cars, but good momentum up and over the second ramp. 5.900 for Eagle Eye. Next up, we have DJ Payne in King Carnage. I believe this is his third event of the season. He's looking to get his first win. Driver that's very capable. A little awkward leave, though. Truck pulled to the right. Good momentum over the second ramp, but not enough. It's going to be 6.033 for DJ. Next up, we're going to see Damon Newton in Napa Auto Parts. Guy really looking for a win. He's had kind of a tough run of luck this season. Good momentum. 5.646. He's going to sit on the top. We're going to see if he can hold the lead for the rest of the event. Now we have Mike Maxwell coming out in loud pedal. And he knows how to stand on the loud pedal. We'll go up and over. Carried the wheels a little bit. Great momentum. 5.842. It is not going to be enough to knock off Damon. But still a very good run. Here we go. Here's Joe Montgomery and Snow Problem. Again, as I said earlier, this is Alice's husband. A little bit awkward coming off the first ramp. Able to get it over the second one, but it's going to be a little slow. 5.902 for Joe. Now we're going to see Keith Johnson in Sinful Addiction. This truck is probably one of the more powerful trucks here at the show today. So should do pretty well here in this straight line racing. Good momentum over the second ramp. 5.711. That, I believe, puts it in the number two spot for the day. Now we're going to see Opal Baxter in Reckless Red. She doesn't have a racing win yet. She won freestyle last event. So she's looking for another win here. Can she do it? Good run. 5.511. That does put her on top. And I believe she was the last truck out. So she will get her first racing win on the season. The results are going to be Reckless Red with a 5.511. Napa with a 5.646. Sinful Addiction with a 5.711. Loud Pedal with a 5.842, Eagle Eye with a 5.900, Snow Problem with a 5.902, King Carnage with a 6.033, and Utter Madness with a 6.343. Congratulations to Opal on getting her first racing win. Now we're going to head over into Freestyle and see what transpires. Coming out first, we're going to see Utter Madness driven by Alice Montgomery today. Up over the racing lane for the first hit. A little bit of a wheelie. Good crush on a couple of cars there. Look at the lean on that truck. Now this truck was actually the original Snow Problem that Joe converted for Alice to drive after building the current Snow Problem. She, she's looking for her next hit. Go over the racing lane. Solid hit. Getting it turned around. Nice solid hop off the ramp over there. Good air. Really nice wheelie up and over the ramp. Ripping up on the concrete. 30 seconds remaining in the run here. Very slow rolling over the ramp. She's just kind of trying to roll around, keep the truck together. This is a relatively low budget team, so they try and keep the equipment in one piece as much as possible. Very nice slap wheelie for Alice. Good way to 
put on a little bit of a show for you guys. It was a very nice run for Alice. Looks like she's going to have a score of 15. Very well done. Next up, we're going to see DJ Payne and King Carnage. Like I said earlier, he's looking for a win, so I expect him to come out here and throw down. Good air on the first hit there. Very solid. Whip the truck around real quick. Then we're going to go across to the other racing lane and hit it from the backside. Very, very nice wheelie off the cars. Take a light. I was going to say a light hit, but there's actually a really good amount of air off of the ramp there. Let's see, we're going to avoid the pond for now. Very nice. Clears the car. Beautiful truck control, keeping it nice and smooth. Getting good air off the ramp. Nice wheelie off the bounce. Up on two wheels. Oh, no! Looks like it kicked on the tire and couldn't quite come back from it. That's going to be a score of 17 for DJ and King Carnage. We'll have to see that truck get fixed for the next show, I believe. Now here we have Eagle Eye coming out. Good, good little first hit there. Didn't quite get the wheelie. Kind of looked like he went for it, but that's all right. Good solid couple of first hits for him here. Get the truck turned around and go over the racing lane. Good air. A little bit of an awkward bounce, so he had to kind of slow up and kind of set up for the next ramp, try and keep the truck on in one piece and on the ground. Good solid hit off the cars there. First truck into the pond. Very nicely done. lane again. Slow momentum this time. Didn't want to get bound up like he did last time. He's kind of looking for the next hit. 30 seconds remaining. It's been a really good run. We're going to some donuts. First donuts we've seen of the day. Very, very nice set of donuts too. Very well done. Leading right into a hit on the cars. Beautiful. Definitely laying down a good solid run here. I could see it taking the lead. Just clears that ramp. That could have been dangerous. But a very, very well done run with a score of 16. So it is not enough for the lead. But very, very well done. Now we're going to see Damon Newton coming out in Napa Auto Parts. I don't believe this truck has actually completed a freestyle yet this season. So he's looking to... Got good air off the racing lane there. And the truck turned around. It's kind of slick over in the grass, the drivers have told me, so. Kind of risky going over there. Good air off the ramp. Solid hit. Kind of hits the back car there and kicks the nose down real hard. So, isn't able to get much coming off of there, but it's still very good hit. Good air. Go across the pond and across the other racing lane. Good way to combo up a couple of hits there. So we're going for the back of the racing lane. Very, very nice wheelie. Just right to the tailgate. Crushes the car with the back of the truck. Beautiful. It's up. It's over. It's on two. He's not able to bring it back down. Looks like it grip rolled on the asphalt. Score of 16 for Damon in Napa Auto Parts. Now we're going to see Joe come out in snow problem. Joe Montgomery. We saw Alice come out earlier today and put down a pretty solid run. Let's see what Joe's going to do. With solid first hit. First truck to take the ramp this direction. Very nicely done. Beautiful truck control to bring it up and over. Very nice to see different hits coming out early. Nice wheelie off the cars. Good air. Truck's kind of bouncing around in the turn there. I don't know if he's kind of worried about watching 
couple of trucks in front of him roll over or, or if something in the setup just didn't like the way he turned there here we go we're gonna go for the other direction on this ramp now very nice good air we'll go kind of across the racing lane there a little bit different from how we've seen it be hit so far 30 seconds remaining in the run for Joe Gonna jump it, tries to clear the pond, doesn't quite, manages to keep the truck in one piece, surprisingly. I could have easily seen that destroying a front end. Good wheelie off the cars there. Another good solid hit. Looks like that's gonna be the run, so anything extra will be off the books. It's going to be a score of 19 for Joe Montgomery. It's no problem. That's a new leader. We're going to have to see if he can hold that. Now we're going to see Keith Johnson coming out in sinful addiction. Good first hit. Kind of stays out of it. Gets it set up for the next ramp. Doesn't want to get himself in trouble early here. Whipping around. Looks like we're going to go into some donuts early. Very, very good momentum in these donuts. Staying in it, man, I would be dizzy doing that. But he's going to come out and go right to the next hit. Good wheelie off the car. Very nice. Look how flat that truck sits as he turns. Doesn't look like he's out of control at all. Nice solid hit over the racing lane there. Going out into the grass again. You can see the truck kind of slides a little bit. Beautiful air. Solid momentum here, just continuing to hit everything in front of him. 30 seconds remaining. It's been a very good run so far. Playing with fire over that asphalt with the truck bouncing like that. We've seen a couple of trucks get hooked up there. We're going for a cross thread here. Very well done. First truck I think we've seen go complete 90 tonight on these obstacles. Very nice wheelie off the car. Beautiful truck control. I believe that is time up for Keith. I'm gonna come up here and wave to the fans. Score of 18 for Keith and Sinful Addiction. Very nice run, but not quite enough to take the lead. Now we're gonna see Mike Maxwell coming out in loud pedal, looking for a win wants to throw down I suspect that this could be a contender to take the win keeping the momentum up already slows it down over the ramp doesn't quite get the wheelie you could tell he went for it there's a little bit of a wheelie off the cars very nicely done nice sky wheelie he is not afraid to stand on that loud note. Beautiful air. Gonna go up the back side of this ramp. Second truck we've seen do that, so it's definitely been a different hit here today. Very nice. So the next hit, we're gonna go up the back side of the car. Is nicely done. Huge air off that backside of that racing lane a little bit of an awkward landing the way it bounced but he got it recovered we go into the pond here very nice good truck control able to just dig it through the water and right out so going into another set of donuts here good momentum not quite as nice as sinful's donuts but still a very nice run vertical right off the car that was beautifully done looks like the truck shut off but he's gonna fill time it's gonna be a score of 19 for Mike and loud pedal next up we have Opal Baxter and Reckless Red she had her first racing win here today and she won freestyle at the last show so she's two in a row can she get a third win under her belt here today 
Lining up for the first hit, looks like. Good air off the back of the racing cars there. Another good hit off the back of the racing lane there. Looks like she's getting it turned around. Coming up, saying hi to the fans. Got to get nice up and close to you. Good air off the racing lane. Very well controlled. Almost rolls the truck there. Got slick and whipped the truck around real hard. She's able to recover it and keep it going. And it shut off again. You know, she told me earlier today that they thought they had that issue fixed, but it doesn't seem like it. That is really unfortunate, and I know she'll be real mad about that. She hates having to restart the truck in the middle of the run like that over some stupid electrical gremlins. Oh, she's mad. You can tell she's standing on the pedal now. We are within 30 seconds remaining. She's had a really nice run, but she's mad. We're slow rolling over this. What's she doing? She's on it. Oh, that's a huge hit, huge air, but hard on the nose. That is a violent wreck. I don't know if they're going to be able to get that truck fixed. She's slated to compete next week. That is a score of 20 for Opal, so she does get the win, but we're going to have to make sure she's okay. What a violent wreck. Our final standings for today are Reckless Red with a 20, Loud Pedal with a 19, Snow Problem with a 19, Sinful Addiction with an 18, King Carnage with a 17, Napa with a 16, Eagle Eye with a 16, and Utter Madness with a 15. Thank you guys for coming today. This was a great event. I'm happy to be back doing these videos for you guys. We're going to see you next week in Arizona. Y'all have a good day.